Lately, all these bitches want is my fame. You don't know that you don't want no my I'm here, babe. What's up, babe? I'm in the house, babe. So, me and my man, I mean, we together, we always be together, um, at my friend's house or whatever. These are the things that I would put inside the bag. Now, I don't necessarily have to do that because I have, like, a stable boyfriend. I, y'all already know, okay? <laughs> Not know, like, oh, I need to just go dip into his house real quick and come back. So, these are the bags that you would take, like, if you and your boyfriend live long distance or you just got a situation ship going on where y'all, you know, you just spend a night every now and then. That is what a hoe bag is, a spending the night bag. Just the essentials. When you got a little butt buddy, a little buddy, yeah, y'all already know. Like I said, I don't have a hoe bag, a spending the night bag. So this would be like a standard size spending the night bag. This is just like a bag that I just use for whatever purposes. I don't even know what the heck I bought this for. Bought this a while ago. But this or smaller, like actually you don't even really even need anything this big because the most things that you're going to take is going to be like a little travel size thing. So a small bag, smaller than this. This is just for, you know, visualization purposes. Matter of fact, this bag right here would probably even be better for what you need for your spin in the night bag so you just need something small something simple you do not need anything big at all you're not moving in you're just spending the night so he's a man right he's not going to have everything that you need at his house for you that's why you have to be prepared for yourself you have to make sure you have everything be discreet about it like i said bring you a nice little small bag you don't want him to be like damn she moving in you don't want him to say that just you know chill what you want to put in your bag is pads, panty liners, change of panties, the panties you come there with, cute little panties, and then some panties to sleep in. I say the panty liners because if things get a little rough, we all done been there, unless you ain't been messing with the right one, but things get a little rough, and he go ahead and knock that period on, what you gonna do? Then y'all gotta get up at 4 or 5 in the morning to go run to Walmart because now you need some pads. No, already have that on deck. Have panty liners on deck and have some pads on deck because sometimes it can knock that thing fully on and sometimes it'll just knock it on enough just to leave a little couple spots. So that's why you just want to make sure you put some panty liners inside your bag. Walmart, 88 cents, honey. What's up? Vicky Secret panties. Make sure you put on them cute panties for him. These, This is the time that you can wear them cute panties. Don't wear them cute panties all the time, but when you about to go to Bay's house, Make sure you got your cute, sexy, lingerie-looking panties on deck, all right? Pineapple juice. I would always suggest that you put a bottle of pineapple juice into your overnight bag because why? Every girl knows that pineapple juice makes the kitty cat taste a little sweet. And that little, it's not a myth, but that little saying is definitely true. If you drink pineapple juice like an hour or so before you about to get your freak on, your kitty cat will smell and taste like pineapple juice. It will sweeten your juices to your vaginal area just a little bit. And I guarantee, and test me, test me. You don't even have to mess with your man. Drink some pineapple juice today. Give it an hour, an hour and a half. Wipe your coochie with your hand, sniff it, and tell me that sucker don't smell like pineapple juice. Do it. I promise you, you're going to smell that pineapple juice that you just drew. Now, I drink, I try to drink pineapple juice every day for like the last two weeks. I've been just strictly drinking pineapple juice, and there is a huge difference. Okay, so mm, tell him. Tell him. Say, oh, KK have put you on. All right. Make sure you bring a toothbrush. <laughs> you know why. For many reasons, but you know why. And some mouthwash. Especially if y'all are the type to get real freaky. Y'all, this right here is not for the under and underage. This video right here is not for the underage. So my little niece, nieces, if y'all watching this video, you need to go ahead and click on out. Click out for I tell your mom. I'm going to tell them. I'm going to tell them. Anyways, make sure you pack a toothbrush and some mouthwash. This is the best mouthwash on the 
planet this mouthwash retails for about seven dollars it's kind of pricey but i guarantee you it's the best mouthwash it's gonna get your mouth real clean bring your tongue scraper you know why you need to bring that tongue scraper and just bring your toothbrush and pour you don't have to bring this big old bottle you can get a little bottle of mouthwash a little travel size that's all travel size stuff when you are getting into it um make sure that when you get lotion and stuff you get a nice lightly scented lotion a vino baby is the best lotion that i like to use when i'm about to snuggle because it's lightly scented it ain't nothing strong or overpowering i like to use a nice sweet smelling body spray body spray not perfume get your main points where he won't be kissing that behind your neck the creases of your arms your wrists um the back of your knees do not spray your chest or your neck like the main areas of the neck that's why i say get the back closest to the hair so that when he's kissing on you men like to suck on ninnies men like to kiss on booties which you should never put perfume on your butt anyways men like to kiss everywhere they like to kiss your stomach so just avoid those areas when you're going crazy spraying the body spray you don't need too much because he's going to be on you he's going to smell it especially if you have a nice good body spray and i love to use body oil if you are real og to my channel you already know what my signature scent is i use this scent faithfully okay like mm, if you don't know you better go watch my old videos to find out honey because listen and remember kk put you on when you do make sure you bring in your own body wash you don't have to bring this big old bottle you can get the little travel size bottle a body wash or you can get the body wash that or you can get um the little containers to just squirt some of this one in whatever body wash you use for like your feminine hygiene routine oh excuse me Whatever body wash you use for your feminine hygiene routine, that is the body wash that you're going to want to use at his house. Make sure you're not putting no perfumes down there or anything like that, none. There is no exceptions to ever put any scented products down there. Not even when you're about to get your freak on. The rest of your body is okay, but down there, no. So you just keep it to a simple, clean, smelling, good, fragrance-free body wash. Make sure you bring your own wash rag, which I mean, he probably got it, but it's like, you don't really want to ask for that type of stuff. And what if he doesn't have anything clean? Some men, you know, they don't like to do their laundry. So just always make sure that you have your own. If you, you know, just to make sure you have your own, okay? Make sure that you put some a washcloth and a towel just in case you need to take a shower unless you want to do a whole bath at the little sink or you can take a shower at his house whichever is your preference bring you a wash rag and a towel so i mean everybody always has like money and stuff on them i heard i am i did get this from someone else i heard this from someone else to bring money make sure that you it is it's really important to make sure that you bring money or that you have money on like a card or something just in case things get a little heated at his house you know things just go left maybe to somebody who house you don't really ever spend a night to and you didn't drive there and he's just acting crazy and you just want to get away make sure that you have your cell phone with you and on at all times even if you creep in on the low behind your man's back whatever is your preference i'm not here to judge but make sure you keep your phone on you and cash on you, debit card, something, so that you can be able to pay for an Uber to get the heck out of his house. If anything ever goes wrong, you just always want to be prepared to be able to leave. You never know what could happen. Something and nothing even could happen between you and him. Something could happen, you know, somewhere else or something. And you just need your cell phone at all times. Keep that phone on you, sis. As for makeup. For my women who like to wear makeup, when you first get to his house, you're probably going to have some type of makeup on, but you want to keep it to a very bare minimum, okay? Just put on a little bit of concealer. You don't want to wear no foundation. You don't want to do all of that just to go over to his house because he's going to think that you're doing too much for one thing. But if you do decide to put on makeup, um, make sure you take like some travel size makeup wipes. Regina has these little mini little makeup wipes. Definitely will fit into that bag. That's all you need is one little makeup wipe just to touch up your face. Like I said, make sure you bring something very comfortable to sleep in. A nice little pajama set, a nice little gown or something like that. That if you want to be extra and sleep in all that extra stuff then by all means you do that but i like to sleep in my boxers 
in my t-shirt no no matter who house i go to i'm gonna have me on some either some boy short or some boxers and a t-shirt or a tank top like that's it because that's the cutest or put on one of his tees whatever you want to do whatever your preference is honey that is what you do make sure when you're there after every time you use the bathroom even if it's the number one or number two i don't care make sure you bring some type of like um fresh wipes or stuff like that and just wipe up freshen up before y'all get into y'all bees knees or whatever y'all about to do because you never know what a night at bae's house could lead to so you always want to be smelling your fresh best honey just make sure you have some gum and that you have some chapstick of some sort bring like some carmax some chapstick whatever you use to moisturize your lips with just so you know he don't be stucking on those scaly lips or nothing like that we don't got time for that so just make sure you always have some gum on deck and some chapstick on zach boo and last but not least make sure you bring some snacks men do not like to keep food in their house and if you put in that work like you should be putting in that work you gonna need something to eat afterwards so make sure you got a bag of chips just little little stuff that you can heat up in the microwave or like some little Debbie cakes or something. Just something just to hold you over if he doesn't have any snacks inside of his house. And you know he never got no snacks in his house. Just make sure you got you some snacks on deck. Even if you have to stop somewhere on the way over there. Just make sure you got your snacks on deck. But yeah, that's about it. That's all that I used to take over to like my guy's house, my bae's house, my boo house, my little thing house. If you spending the night, spending the night. If you don't say it like that, you ain't spending the night. You gotta say spending the night. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope this video was entertaining to you guys. And now you know what to do to spend to Bay's house to get the best reaction and stay discreet. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you guys can know when I post. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video.